fucking hilarious. And we, we laughed. <laughs> like, I, met, I, I, was, I thought I was going to die of la- laughing. Like <laughs> my whole body, I was laughing and I just kept thinking about the egg. And, the sh- and like, it was so funny. And, like, and the egg you mate, We laughed for two hours. <laughs> I was reading an article on the way up here about uh, they've been doing LSD tests and what it does to the brain and stuff. And they've, they've managed to put it into layman's terms. So as we grow and as a child, we go through things um, and psychologically, you know, we put up walls and all that sort of spiel. Um, we, 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 as people, we're constructed by our experiences, right? And if you imagine your brain as a landscape and every time something bad happens to you a wall or a mountain yeah, is put yeah, up yeah. what LSD does is it levels the playing field so while you're on LSD your mind can roam oh. completely free of any obstacles that you've had in the past and certain synapses in your brain will stop communicating because of experiences that you've had and they were saying how some synapses that haven't communicated since you were like three years old can all of a sudden start oh. communicating because um, of this LSD. And the reason they're doing it is because they're, they're seeing if LSD can be used as a cure for things like PTSD and depression and stuff. Interesting. But yeah, I just thought... Have you done LSD? No, no. I did it when I was like 16. How was it? Because yeah. I, I must admit, do you know what? I know, you know... Kids don't do drugs and all that sort of stuff, but hallucinogenics fucking fascinate me. It, like, yeah, it was it was bizarre. It wasn't like so, so. The first, my perception of it before I did it was like I'd heard people, oh, you know, you see a fucking banana running down the road and and like really out there stuff. But but for me, when we did it, like, um, I, we were all sitting down in a park and then. We, we all took it. It's about half an hour in or something. We're all like waiting around, and then like yeah. someone said something. I don't know what it was, but it was like, "What came first, like the chicken or the egg?" Yeah. And like, we just found it hilarious, like fucking hilarious, and we, we <laughs> laughed. Like I met, I, I, was, I thought I was gonna die of la- laughing. Like <laughs> my whole body, I, I was laughing, and I just kept thinking about the egg, and the, and like it was so funny, and like and the egg you like, we support. laughed for two hours. <laughs> straight i was on the field like i couldn't even look at my mate i had to <laughs> I had to crawl off and i was just could not stop laughing and then like and then once that surpassed after about two three hours then it started getting a, a little bit like trippy yeah um but again there was nothing major like there was nothing that was like nothing appeared that wasn't there mm. but it was like a mass, i think like, massive late, exaggeration. Doing it, like later on in life i feel like you you would you would understand stuff. If yeah. stuff happened, you would kind of understand. Like I think when you do stuff when you're young, you don't really, yeah, you don't really know what the fuck's going on there. But yeah. like, you, like when you were 16, you was not trying to like figure shit out. You were just fucking yeah, like, yeah, we just rolling with it, which yeah. probably is a good thing. I think if I didn't know, yeah. I might overthink it. Yeah. Oh, 100. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I think yeah. I'd be I'd like, think I'd be some weird shit. That but would like, happen, s- there was a bit we went in the toilet and it had tolls and stuff and it and uh, it distorted all the time, so I got stuck in the toilet. Yeah, and like there was, in fact, I said like nothing. There was nothing that popped out that wasn't already there, but everything exaggerated. So like, I remember yeah. I went to a tap and like all the hairs started growing, or they were all getting bigger yeah. from. Uh, so like everything, like obviously the hairs were there, but it just everything was exact, like yeah. really exaggerated to the point where it, like it just kind of you were very fucked up. But I, I ne- like, and again, I don't know if it's a strength of it was. I only ever did it that once. Um, and we tried some of we tried it a few times before and just got ripped off like literally yeah. sold paper. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah. Uh, but yeah, that, that time it was in in that article it said like for example, why um walls and things like tiles they seem to um fall away is apparently so it it leads back to the the open playing field. So we have perception of a wall is a solid object that I cannot go through. Yeah. But LSD opens up your mind to cha- to try and change your perception on things, oh, okay. which is why they tend to melt or move. Oh, so it's like, oh, this is no longer a physical, you know, it's like, oh, ooh, it's yeah. liquid, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's fascinating. We, oh, we were stuck in a, it was a public toilet. Like we, we, we'd gone into it and then we were stuck in it, all of it, like three of us. Yeah. Because all, all the tiles on the floor or like and like it just seemed like down and up and I couldn't make sense of like so we were trying yeah. to get out I mean we must have looked like a fuck yeah, imagine so imagine funny. from the outside like yeah. holding on to bits and it took us and then also we all got stuck at the edge 
because the toll stopped and then there was just a step. And, and, but then it, it just seemed really big and it, yeah. was, a, it was a real big battle to <laughs> overcome. But I, I, I mean, I've never told my mum and dad this, but like we stopped at my house um, after. So like, oh, we went back to my house, yeah. me and my two mates, and they were stopping. And like my dad answered the door and... Um, <laughs> And I was still fucked, but I was trying to calm. I was trying, mountain exclusive. I was trying to like, <laughs> I was trying to suppress it because I'm like, I knew I'd, I was going home, and I, yeah. and I knew that I, I had to be normal. And they were still rolling with it, and we got in my house. And I just remember, my, okay, every time I looked up my dad, he was like frozen, <laughs> like, like a statue. And I went, so I looked down and I look up in him, be like, I'm like that's fucking. And then, uh, and then my mates were like in the kitchen, and they were like, let's fill ourselves up with water. Oh God! And I was like, in my head, it was like a good idea, but I was like the water's going to be everywhere and my yeah, mom and yeah, dad yeah. are going to kick and I was like, like we're going to get, get to bed and they're like, no, no, it's fill, out, it's fill ourselves with water and I was like, no. And like, I just <laughs> remember lying in bed and like, I was like, yeah, like I had, I had a pillow over my arm and I could see my arm and I, yeah. and I just remember looking at it for about 20 minutes, half an hour, just thinking, please don't run off. Like, please, <laughs> please don't go. So just remember looking at my arm just thinking, please just stay there, don't go. <laughs> Having this battle in my head, and yeah. Oh my god! But I, and, and then after that, like so, I, that was like sixteen, seventeen, did it, and then I've joined the army. Never did drugs since, but I had a little yeah. spell. I had oh, a little spell. That's mad. And that, like, I, not out with, as a show, and uh, in, as individuals, we're not advocating the use no, of drugs. Don't do it. I no, don't do it. Um, but you know, Save experiences like that. If you ever end up having a podcast, they're yeah. fucking golden. So <laughs> yeah. And if you did ever. Don't do it. But if yeah. you ever did, just be like be in a safe environment. Yeah, absolutely. Like, if it's yeah. going to happen... My only thing is, drugs will open your mind to good stuff, but it will open the yeah. fucking... It opens the It opens gates. it to the yeah. bad, yeah. bad stuff. 100%. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. it ain't worth it. Don't there do we drugs. go. Don't Fascinating. Do Fascinating, but yeah. Stevie Wonder, probably can't see. You, you, know, you say, oh, like, Joe Rogan's always like DMT. And yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. A lot like, of people are big on DMT. Yeah, I think DMT is shorter though, isn't it? It's a short. Burst. It's like a yeah. bomb. Yeah, how long? How long was it? Was it about five hours, six hours? That LSD trip? I think they're about fourteen hours. The whole trip. Yeah, it you was, think yeah. you're very quick to answer that. Yeah. It's about it's thirteen and a half hours. Idea, like Give 13. Or take. 5 hours. <laughs> that one we probably did it. I remember it being light. He's still going. Yeah. He's always like, <laughs> he's just never don't run off, up. mate. Yeah. Don't fucking run off, son. I need Keep you. Keep it there. I need you, mate. Fuck um, it. How are we going to play Xbox? <laughs> How are we going to wank? Yeah. <laughs> not, not Left-handed. Uh, 12 ben. hours. Yeah, around 12 hours. Mad. So, yeah. Mad. But yeah, apparently, I don't know, shrooms, maybe you can drink orange juice and calm stuff down, or I don't know. But like, the trouble with it as well is like, once you do do it, but you, it's to be prepared because it's yeah, to, like, you're, you're locked if you're in. A, if you're having a bad trip, like I say, like yeah, you're fucked. So. Yeah. If it's bad, it's shit. It won't worth doing it anyway. If yeah. it's good, you're a drug addict. Yeah. <laughs> so just good. nip it yeah, in the yeah, bud. Yeah, yeah. Just don't nip do it, it in the bud. Just do DMT. <laughs> DMT <laughs> apparently become um, a shaman. TNT. DMT can last from thirty to forty-five minutes if you smoke it. People uh, drink it four milk. hours if you drink it. Yeah, but DMT you can also get yourself fuck some you up. Yeah. yeah, see this this like... this is the thing. I'd love to do a hallucinogenic to have a mind opening experience, but I've also read the horror stories where people are literally fucked for the rest of their yeah, life, yeah, and yeah, it changes yeah. them forever. It's like my ooh. mate went. My mate went bad. Got rolled the for, like <laughs> for about six months. He was like, really? yeah. Uh, for us at that time, like we didn't really appreciate what he was saying and stuff. We were just like we kind of laughed at it because yeah. he was always like, oh, I'm going mental, I'm going yeah. mad. It's like it, on my lamp post. And we were like, God, like, he's fucking just being stupid. But looking back now, it probably did affect him differently. Yeah. And uh, yeah, he he struggled with it because it, yeah. But he, I mean, he continued to do loads more drugs mm. as well, which didn't help yeah. like loads. Not not so much um, LSD, but he, he he was constantly doing drugs. But he, he had a point where he thought he was actually mental. He was always really? mad, yeah. But, but yeah. stop the drugs. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Guys, nip it in the bud. If you're doing one right now as you listen, stop. Get some help. Stop. 